got another video for y'all today where I'm going to be talking to you about making soup. Random. But you're going to see what I'm talking about. DJ, play my music. Here's another Get More video with the VO hustler himself, Rob Moreira. Get more with Rob Moreira. Just want to give a big shout out to my boy Charlie Toro uh, for once again hooking me up with the fly bomb ass intro music and video. He actually did both. So much love to you, Charlie. Appreciate you. Moving on to this video. Making soup. So clearly, like my last video that y'all saw about falling in love out in these streets, making soup is another analogy. Been finding a new a new way to communicate what I mean with the analogies in my video. So today's analogy is making soup, right? Now me particularly, you know, being a Dominicano, I'm talking about Sancocho. The only reason I'm talking about this is because my wife made a banging ass one this past weekend. So much love to my wife. So yeah, making a Sancocho. All, ultimately, your business is you making your own soup. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here making my sancocho. There's somebody down south making themselves a gumbo. And there's somebody in the Midwest making a beef stew that nobody's going to eat because it's too damn bland. But regardless of the fact, you're making yourself a soup, right? You're making your business is a soup. And the thing is, you're adding ingredients to create something completely unique to you. Now, one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to be leaning over somebody else's shoulder and trying to peep what they're putting in their soup. Reason being is that that's their soup. You don't know if what they putting in their soup is going to end up not jiving with your soup. You see what I'm saying? Just because they put certain ingredients in theirs doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. You need to go out there and you need, if anything, I would suggest scoping out what people do. Scope to see what they're up to. Don't copy it though. You don't need to copy it. Some things might work. Some things might not. Ultimately, what you want to do is you don't want to replicate somebody else's success. You don't want to go out there replicating somebody else's sancocho. Because truth be told, truth be told, if you make this copycat sancocho, one, is probably not going to taste as good because you ain't putting that little bit of amor in there because it ain't unique to you. You know what I'm saying? And then when you try to get that same flavor, trying to get that same heat, it just don't work. It just don't work. You got to do your own thing. You got to do your own thing. Try it all on your own if you can. Try it all on your own. You don't have to ask everybody. Even even then, you don't have to ask everybody what they're doing. You don't have to ask anybody what they're doing. Like, truth be told, I've been doing this now a little over six years. A little over six years I've been in this business now. And I've never, and not once that I can remember, have asked anybody like, yo, how you get work at this place? Yo, how you get work in this? How you get work doing this? I've never asked that question. Reason being is that I want to find the work on my own. That's one, that's part of the fun. And two, you appreciate it more. You know what I'm saying? You appreciate it more. Everything that I've done, you know, I, I've, I've put together myself. Nobody has helped me put these things together. Uh, you know, I, my YouTube video series, like, that was an organic growth. It started because um, I started just making just making videos, giving advice. That's how I kind of started. And then it became my channel. It grew into what my channel is now, um, where I'm trying to, you know, help people out with how it is. But, but my point is I wasn't trying to copy somebody else. I'm not trying to copy the other voice actors that are doing videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my own video. You know, I do my own type of video series. Um, so that's, so that's the thing, you know, that, that's how I found my success. And I think that's how everybody can find their success is that you have to focus on making your own soup. You know what I'm saying? You could get inspired by people. You get inspired by what other people are doing out in these streets, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to copycat. You know what I'm saying? Just because something works really well for one person doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work well for you. Figure out what's going to work well for you. Try it all. Try it all and make like 158 different nasty ass soups before you land on the one that's proper, the one that stays simmering, the one that keeps you hot in these streets, the one that keeps that hustle flowing. You know what I'm saying? Because trust me, hustle tastes good, baby. Hustle tastes good when it's your own, when you came up with it yourself. That hustle's on point. 
Little by little, you know, I'm looking at the video right now. Little by little, my hat's falling off. It's coming off my head. You see that? It was like here at the beginning of the video. Now it's like back here. <laughs> so, you know, I'm getting excited. My hat's coming off. Nah, but real talk, real talk. Um, Just fo focus on you. Focus on your business. Get inspired by others. Get inspired by other people. But don't copycat. There's no need to copycat. You got to come up with your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to come up with your own groove, your own vibe. And then you go from there. All right. So with that being said, I got another video. This is the first video. Um, first, well, the first get more video that's actually going to be uh, coming out starting on Mondays. Monday is the new day that my get more videos are going to be coming out. And um, Wednesdays is actually when you're going to be seeing the first video of On the Stoop. On the Stoop. Yes. Yeah, new video series that uh, I came up with. That's pretty cool. It's going to basically take my channel and create a platform for other entrepreneurs, uh, voice actors, maybe down the line. It's going to be other creatives, maybe even further down the line, other other entrepreneurs in uh, in other, you know, other lines of business. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if anybody even likes them. I mean, you know, I'm going to compare views from one to the other and then we'll see what works. But I figured it'd be pretty cool to bring people onto the my proverbial stoop. Uh, but I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more. I'll probably drop another little quick preview for y'all. Um, probably, uh, probably tomorrow I'll drop another preview video of what the stoop entails. And then Wednesday we drop the first one and then we go from there. All right. So Stay busy. Make sure you get your auditions in. Um, remember, don't spray and pray. Don't do a thousand auditions. Doing a thousand auditions don't do nothing if they all whack. Um, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna audition, make sure every audition is 100% legit badass talent for you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you did 50 doesn't mean you did a great 50. Um, but maybe you just killed those 50 too. Maybe you actually are. You know, you got that kind of time. I don't. I'm lucky if I could do. <laughs> you know, 15 auditions in a day anymore. Um, but it's a good problem. It's a good problem. I'm busy. I stay busy. But anyway, get out there. Keep slaying those auditions. Keep getting those bookings. Keep getting that money. Get that guap. Uh, get that bread. And um, there's plenty out there for all of us, all right? So just keep it honest. Represent your people. And um, much love, all right? Stay tuned. We got a lot of good stuff. I got, we, <laughs> there's somebody, like there's other people on this channel. I'm the only one man in this channel, yo. I'm a one man, one man hustle train, baby. Choo choo, baby. Choo choo. <laughs>